As a doctor of oral medicines, my mission is to make my patients and fellow practitioners smile with confidence through personalized care and by practicing precision medicine. It brings me a great joy to use the latest technology to treat those in need and educate dentists and their teams about complex ideas using simple language. My name is Samson Ng. I'm a board-certified specialist in oral medicine and oral and maxillofacial pathology, and I love to teach. I feel most myself when I help a colleague to understand oral medicine and pathology from a new perspective. I express myself most clearly by comparing diseases of the mouth to common objects around us, such as fruit and vegetable. Understanding mouth disease can be a challenge. The concept can be dry and difficult to swallow, as conventional dental education is often boring. My practice uses visual aids and metaphors to make learning easier and fun. By using morphological descriptions of lesions, perhaps saying it's a shape of a pea, a bunch of grapes, cobblestone or bubble gums tell you what cellular features are underneath the surface. Describing the topography of lesions by comparing its surface to the texture of an orange peel, a starry sky, or even a cottage cheese can tell you the makeup of the surface mucosa. For instance, a lesions that look like cauliflower may look benign under the microscope and eventually indicate a cancerous growth. In my seminars, I relate pathology to this common, highly sensory object, making it easier to transfer and retain knowledge. When I was in dental school, I was very shy. I was embarrassed to speak in front of people because I couldn't speak English fluently. My Chinese accent was so heavy that a fast food drive through could not pick up my order successfully. I would attend conferences and the only conversations we would have is about which Asian country I am from. That was until I spoke at a scientific presentation competition with audience of renowned clinicians and professors. I was very nervous. To ensure my accents would not get in the way, I used simple language to translate complex concepts. I ended up winning the award. I was so happy that I brought my girlfriend at that time, now my wife, up to the stage with me to accept the award. Since then, speaking in front of colleagues in public has been incredibly fulfilling. Lesions in the mouth are not flat. They stick out from the surface. As a matter of fact, no structure in the mouth is flat. They are always deaf to it. That's why we use 3D imagery to visualize depth. It's the depth that makes you understand the disease better. 3D VR learning is no different than an in-person, one-on-one clinical residency. It's actually better. So over the past few years, I began to incorporate 3D imagery to my presentation to see patients from a different perspective. In dentistry, everything we do is smaller than the size of a thumb. As a student, we will all crowd around the instructor and I would have to squeeze up into someone's armpit just to try and see what was going on. 2D video is great, but it does not give you the full picture. Now with 3D VR, it's like that you are tagging along your instructor's shoulder to see the patients. You see what your instructor sees. It's like a hands-on TMJ sessions where you're so close that you hear what the instructor hears, understand the process of Botox preparations, and see the exact location where the Botox needle should be inserted. All of this emerging imaging and diagnostic technology allow us to see patients through an improved lens and deepen our understanding of the disease. Dentists, hygienists, surgeons and pathologists, we are all part of the same family in medicine. If we want our patients to smile, 
we must first smile ourselves. It's my hope that the knowledge I communicate to dentistry community inspire confidence and peace of mind through personalized care and precision medicine.